Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to work with managed VM images. So let's say I have a virtual machine called VM01 and within this virtual machine, I have installed some of the applications here uh, and also some of other configuration has been done. Let's say within this virtual machine, I have installed a server role called IAS has been already installed and within this IAS I have some of the settings has been configured properly for my application and if you see here this virtual machine also have the proper IAS has been installed and I'm able to when I try to browse this website I'm actually getting a proper response saying that hey my website is opening with a specific web page so that means I have a working web application which was hosted in this virtual machine now uh, within this virtual machine I wanted to capture this virtual machine for creating as VM image when we say VM image we normally create virtual machine directly from Microsoft uh, marketplace instead of that I wanted to create a virtual machine with the settings that have already created manually of and I wanted to recreate this virtual machine along with the same disk so that I can reuse multiple times so I no need to reconfigure my applications my VM settings my maybe web application whatever I have within that virtual machine so that way you can quickly spin up as many as virtual machines you have or you wanted so that's that's uh, about the managed image so to do that uh, you need to have a virtual machine so in our case I have a virtual machine and also I have configured the web application let's say that's my custom application that must be exist on all of my managed images or managed VMs uh, in future so I have uh, have already created this virtual machine with this web application or uh, that means the desired settings has been already created as a next step I need to actually do the sysprip so just open sysprip so that would actually open up C colon Windows system 32 sysprip folder within this you have an option called sysprip so you just have to select the generalize so that's going to remove all the generalized option of that uh, hardware binded settings for that VM so once that's done you can shut down this virtual machine by choosing this radio button this uh, drop down called shutdown so click on ok so that's gonna actually generalize and it's gonna shut down this virtual machine in any point of time so once this is generalized I need to deallocate my virtual machine once I have deallocated I need to uh, capture this virtual machine directly from this captured step here so I'm gonna do that so I'll just wait for a second or I'll quickly f uh, fast forward the video so that you can see what's happening on this virtual machine now if you see here the virtual machine has been dis disconnected that means the RDP has disconnected the reason being it has actually going to the shutdown state so once it is uh, successfully shut down I need to actually deallocate so I need to you know click on stop so that this virtual machine gets deallocated I'm going to deallocate by pressing stop button so this would actually stop the virtual machine by deallocating the processor and RAM other things so that it will free up once this is done I can actually go ahead and capture and while capturing I should be able to give a name now the virtual machine is deallocated now let's go ahead and do the remaining steps in the first step what we have done is we created a virtual machine and we installed the required configuration and applications everything working fine and then we have done the sysprip with the generalize option and then we choose an option as a shutdown data point we stopped it now it's time for us to capture it so that this image will be available for us for future utilization so I'm clicking on a capture button and I can give here a name of a proper name that would you know actually suitable so in this case I'm gonna refer as a VM01 image which was captured so and so date and the resource group that I'm gonna uh, keep this image and I, I can even create a new one if I want I can directly here and put it there 
and also if you take this checkbox what would happen is it's actually you need to take this checkbox so that it's going to delete the vm01 which we have actually used for capturing so this vm going to delete it automatically and once that is deleted if you are sure you need to give here the vm name so in my case that's a vm01 in your case if it's a different vm name so you have to give that proper name from here uh, so that you know that it's going to delete it and uh, make sure that it's going to delete because uh, post to this uh, in a capture wizard that vm is no more used or uh, no more useful even because in the back end actually it runs a sysprep means the generalize option so it will start uh, entering or asking for the whoop uh, experience so definitely uh, as you cannot give you the whoop experience for you and uh, that would actually uh, useless that's why we're going to delete that virtual machine and we are sure that we have to give the virtual machine name also here so click on create that's going to actually create and this process takes some time so until then i'm going to actually pause this video if you see here it is actually created the image with this name and also it has deleted the vm01 so if i just go to the my virtual machines i will not have anything with respect to vm01 and you can see here there's no vm uh, for the name called vm01 and if you see here the virtual machine has been already deleted called vm01 now let's try to create the virtual machine out of our image which we have created so this time what we are going to do is instead of we actually choose from images from the library that is from the marketplace we actually use the private image here so i'm just clicking here so that the private image is my items i can see here my vm that's a vm01 base dot which we created it's actually listed and you need to give the vm name so in this case i'm gonna actually use called vm02 example and uh, i'm gonna use my recent virtual machine size and i can choose here a different account or the password that needs to be given here so i'll just type here the password confirmation password I can choose the required sizes here if that is not suitable I can use any of the method virtual machine select and then I'm going to choose a license for Windows Server if I have that's fine otherwise I can say no and uh, the remaining things remains the same like anything like networking all that and here for the management so this is very important like in the advanced let's say you might have a complex scenario where you wanted to start some other applications to be installed or to be configured once the virtual machine is started or once the virtual machine is created out of this image so in that case actually you would be using custom extensions let's say if you just click on the extensions you have your PowerShell uh, custom script can be run or any of the custom script this is where actually you can run some kind of a custom uh, scripts that way you are actually using something to be automated let's say you wanted uh, some application to be executed or a backup to be started something to be done for your custom images you can do that so that is the most used common extension when it comes to the custom images and you can give the tags and let's review it and if really this is okay then we can actually click on create so that's going to create a new virtual machine for us with the vm name 02 now the vm has created and uh, just for your information that in case if, if you're trying to create uh, more than 20 at once simultaneously the custom images are not supported so just that's the limitation that you have otherwise it's the normal and uh, you can use this file to download and try to connect it i'm gonna use the connection with the user id and password uh, that we have given as part of the wizard and now once i connected my application that's the custom applications that I have already created let's say web application in this case should be already configured and should be ready for us to utilize so that way the custom images are most useful in terms of having the same consistency of your applications and their settings and you can reuse them as many as vms that you can create it so let's open up the ie explorer opening internet explorer here and i'm gonna click as 
clicking on localhost that should actually load my web page with all the custom settings that were configured earlier on my base image so now i have the virtual machines uh, which was created out of my base image and that image has whatever the application that is already available now so that looks good and uh, i hope this entire video lecture is useful for you thank you for watching this and just to you know conclude what we have done so far we created a virtual machine and we installed the required application and then we have followed the sysprip mechanism with the generalized option to shut down and then deallocate it and then uh, deallocated with the stop button and then captured and gave the name and then when we are trying to create virtual machine we used um, a different name and we created when we created we got all the applications back that concluded the demo for this lecture thank you for watching this